Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have an advanced full body mat workout. If you offer a challenge, come and join me on a mat, but make sure this level is appropriate to you. If you have been working at an intermediate level for a while or an advanced level. So come on up and we're going to start the class standing. We're going to find ourselves standing at the front of the mat. So have your feet in a parallel position, toes are pointing forward. Heel aligned with the center of your hip joint, arms long by the side. Let's take an inhale so we can grow our spine up and tall to the sky. And exhale as we draw in our center, creating a strong corset around our waistline. We do that again, inhale, lengthening up, exhale. Holding or drawing in your center. We in breath again. Now as we exhale, we soften the knees. We go ahead and roll the spine down to the floor, articulating each vertebra one after another. And bring your pelvis to a forward fold. Perhaps go into a really deep fold in the pelvis if that's available to you today. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we press the feet down. As we curl the tailbone under, we lift the pelvic floor, we lift the lower abdominal, we lift the middle abdominal, the upper abdominal, we stack the shoulder over the rib cage, followed by the neck and the head. Then we float in breath. Exhale, rolling down, softening through the knees, peeling the spine off that imaginary wall behind you. Go into deep flexion once you reach the lower spine, then fold at the hip joint to bring the pelvis forward and down. Go into a deeper flexion than before at the hip joint here. Inhale. Exhale, we roll back up. Stacking up the spine like Jenga, like Lego blocks. And then we float up. We'll do one more time. Exhale, we roll. Perhaps the second or the third roll down here is a lot more mobile for you, a lot easier, a lot friendlier. It definitely is for me. And we fall through the hip and we take ourselves a little fall, a little closer to the floor. And then we stay down here for me, please. I want you to soften the knee so you really can fall a little deeper into the hip joint here. Now, hands are on the floor. I want you to now lengthen the spine. Get the spine in that beautiful straight line, slightly diagonal, whatever is available to you. Maybe you may need to bend the knees a lot deeper than before. And then exhale, go into that deep fold through the hip joint. And then inhale, coming into that long straight spine alignment. Exhale, flexing down. And inhale, reaching out to the crown of the head here. Now, I want you to stay here. I want you to do some prancing with me. So we bend the knee closer to me and straighten the other leg. And then the other one, bend the knee away from me, straighten the one closer to me. And at all time, while you prance your legs or your feet, and I want you to keep the mind that, keep the back extensors active here. And yup, you may feel a very big stretch on the lateral side of the legs. That's what we wanted. And the back of the legs. And just keep prancing at your own timing as you keep breathing in and out. Let's do one more set. Now I want you to end up with the leg away from me in a bent position. So sink into the right hip. For me, it's the right hip. I'm bending my left knee here. And I'm keeping the left hand down on the floor. And open the arm, the other arm up to the sky and rotate towards me. 
So I have my left knee bent and I have my right leg straight. My right arm is up to the sky and my spine is in rotation here. As I inhale, I'm thinking about reaching my arm to the sky, to the ceiling. Exhale, see if I can find more rotation in my body. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, we twist. We drop the arm down, we switch the leg. I am bending my right knee, my left leg is straight. I've opened my left arm up to the sky by rotating through my spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twist more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. And I drop my arm. I go into a deeper fall here, dropping my head. And I send my spine back up. I roll up to a standing position. Okay, interlacing the hands at the back of your head. All right, let's do some footwork. We in breath. Exhale, heels are down on the floor, feet are parallel, the spine is straight. Inhale, we go down. Exhale, we lift up. Inhale, down. Exhale, and two more. Last one, stay down here, lift the heels up. Five, Woo, find your balance. And lift up. And lift up. Three. I need to focus some point forward. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my balance here. Last one. There. Now here, take your arms forward. If you are comfortable with your knees, come and join me. Otherwise, meet me on the mat. Uh, we're going to descend down. Down. Down with the heels up. Uh, let's take ourselves all the way down to the ground, hands behind you, sit the pelvis down, straighten the legs for the roll up. Let's go into the C curve. We roll the spine down, getting a deep flexion through the sacrum and through the lower spine and then we take our arms overhead. We inhale, lift the chest. We exhale. We peel off the floor into that C curve. And exhale, we roll back. And arms overhead. Inhale, chest lift, arms by the side. Exhale, into that C curve. Again, two more times. Roll down, arms overhead. Well, I'd like to invite you to do this roll up with good intention. So try to think about what my legs are doing. Are they together? Are they neat? Am I scooping my pelvis, my lower abs a lot deeper so I can? And can I get my sacrum down to the floor, lower back into the floor? And, you know, my arms are long. Those little questions, it's going to make your practice a lot deeper, a lot stronger. And I don't know how many times I've been doing this roll up. So let's take this as the last one. We come up, inhale, exhale. We come all the way into the C curve. And then we roll down again. Just find ourselves in a chest lift position. Turn our palms down, drag the legs in up to the ceiling and guess what the hundreds we in breath exhale and inhale again keep asking yourself that question are my legs straight enough can i contract my quads a little bit more can i pump my arms a little bit more with energy can i lift my chest up if my lower back is down on the floor keep that question coming in your head in breath now here, as you exhale, can we lower the legs down to whatever level that suits you today? Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. In breath, take it up. Exhale. 
inhale squeeze your inner thighs here it will help you to access into that low abdominal in breath one more time exhale in breath exhale down let's take it all the way down 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 turn the palms in roll up oh that's not fair isn't it <laughs> into that c curve definitely not fair mirror all right let's go ahead and roll back again sacrum down all the way to the floor take the arms overhead and inhale chest lift exhale up we go c curve and we roll back again chest lift hold the chest lift drag the legs back again to tabletop hands on the knees let's do a double leg stretch we inhale exhale in breath exhale really shoot the arms and the legs in the opposite direction and really get the deflection in the lower abs and i mean the abs too and and four three more squeeze the inner thighs two one hold lower the feet arms long by the side stretch your legs away roll up and oh that's tough 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 and into that c curve and we roll back down again all the way down let's do two roll-ups and we've got single leg stretches and we'll do two roll-ups and we've got crisscross yes we can here into that c curve and we roll down again here we go hold the chest left position drag the knees up hands on the knee closer to me the other one extend forward align the feet and we switch two four eight set three four five six seven last eight both legs in and we lower the feet down we straighten the legs and we go up and that C curl. we roll down two roll ups and we got your crisscross and again inhale exhale as we go down we hold the chest lift position we go into the crisscross we roll down stay legs up hands behind your head rotate to me extend the opposite leg and we switch two three four five six seven eight come back center lower the feet down straighten the legs oh arms forward and rolling up oh that was a challenge into that c curve and we roll down again we come arms overhead and we come back up again and off we go into that c curve and we roll down back to the floor arms overhead circle your arms out to a t position bring one leg up to tabletop i'm just going to scoot myself down a mat second leg up to stable top squeeze the legs together spine to supine over to me as we inhale exhale and in breath keeping the chest nice and open reaching the fingertips away from each other and over to me in breath exhale and the other side in breath exhale let's a double leg extension here so over to me please both legs straighten up bring the legs back to the middle and we bend the knees over to you please both legs straighten up bring the legs back to center and we bend the knees over to me please and we extend we come back 
and we fold over to you in breath extend come back and for one more each side in breath extend come back and center last one in breath extend come back we fall lift your head on the chest up grab your shin curl the knee closer to your forehead like a ball and we'll rock three that's a two three here three more to sitting four five last six come on up straight legs back straight interlace the hands behind the head dorsiflex the feet spine twist or rotate to me in center exhale and center exhale exhale last set last one and stay point your feet hands behind back support and then we're going to do some daflope legs so we have the heels slightly apart open through the chest and we press up we fall and press lower and three more lower and two down last one let's stay right leg bend the knee up develop and down for five up two up three up four up last switch and up down up two up three up four up five lower down legs together arms forward we roll back again find ourselves on the ground all right take the feet in bend the knees legs up to tabletop we have our rollover and then we have our control balance and one leg up take a leg up straighten the legs up to the sky roll over flex the feet apart lower down send the sitting bone up to the sky keep your gaze up to the sky and don't look towards me and pelvis is down point your feet reach the legs away together and legs up to 90 degree and roll the pelvis up we flex the feet separate lower the feet down keeping those arms active at all time as you roll the spine down pelvis settle down to the floor we point the feet we reach the legs away we bring them together again up. roll over we flex separate we lower and we roll the spine back pelvis is down we point the feet legs reach away together one more and roll over we flex separate lower then we roll the spine back pointed fit legs away and together now we have a control balance if you haven't done control balance before please watch me first then you can reverse reverse and rewind the video and join me it's the beauty of recorded classes isn't it so and make sure you do not turn your head to the side when you do your control balance keep your gaze up to the sky all right if you know what control balance is let's go bring it up and roll over otherwise watch first and then we flex the feet to keep the legs together lower the feet down circle the arm to the feet bring the leg away from me up to the sky double breath we switch exhale lengthen the spine exhale exhale and 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 one more set last set both legs are down to the floor 
circle the arms back, palms down over to the other side, and then you roll the spine down like the rollover. All right, and then point your feet up to the sky, hold. Corkscrew over to me as we inhale. Down, the other way. Center, and to you. Down, over to me, and center. All right, to me, and down over to you. And center, and to you. Down over to me, and center. Last set, please. And, and the last one, and come back to center, we bend the knee, lower one leg, two leg, and turn your body to me for the side lift. Now I'd like you to come a bit closer to the front of the mat here, because we're going to do a little variation on our side lift. So we have the legs stacked up, please, bottom arm is long, top arm in front here, this is going to be a big help for what's going to come. All right, here we go. We lift the legs up. Lower, just hovering the leg. And we lift up. Lower, and we hover. And three more. And two more. Make sure this arm is active. Last one. Now we'll take it all the way down to the floor. Now we're gonna press this top arm down, glide the shoulder blades down, use that tricep, and then we're gonna lift the bottom arm up. One, and down, and two, and down. Anchor the feet down, and down. We got two more, up, and down. Last one, up, and stay. Now lift the leg up, Lift the bottom arm up, scoop this in. We roll to our back like a boomerang. Hold that boomerang. Little flutter kick. Inhale for five. Exhale. Two more sets. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Legs together. Roll back, face me. Ta da. Come down. All right, and coming up. Switch. All right, so let's come to the front of the mat. Here we go. Legs are straight. Top arm. Firmly press down and we'll lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And three. You want to keep the legs really long and lengthen the lower waist down to the floor, creating like a banana shape. There. And one more. Up. And lower all the way down with the feet. Then we're gonna press the top hand down, bring the bottom arm up for a little side. Sit up. Down. And two. Wow, oh, this is my left arm, it's a lot. More challenging. And down. Two more. And done. Last one. And then hover the leg, hover the arm, roll back into that boomerang position and little flutter kicks. Inhale. And call in this reverse swimming. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Legs together, rotate back to me. Balance and come on down. Great, all right, let's go to your front. All right, so we have our swimming, we have rocking, and let's do those first. Okay, have the legs long, have the arms long. Okay, glide the shoulder blades down, float the legs off the floor, and then we're going to do swimming. Lift the arms up, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, Left arm, right leg, and we go. Pam, pam, pam. And exhale, five. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. And. Two more sets. Last set. 
stay, legs together, arms to the T position, bend the knee, grab those ankles together, lower the chest down, rocking prep. All right, get the pubic bone down to the floor, lifting up thighs, back, more legs, more back, and down again. And press back with the legs, lift your back, and in the thighs, and in the knees, and everything, and come down. Again, we lift up, up, more up. You can squeeze your bottom to lift the legs a little higher. So activate your hip extensors. Last one. Lift. And now let's stay up here. Let's do some rocking. We rock forward and back. And back, back, three, two, one, and up, and come on down. And release the legs, forearm to the side, push to the floor away, rounding the back, and sit the pelvis down, bump to the heels, and stay there for a moment. I'll stay here for a moment. Inhale. <sighs> One more breath. And let's tuck the toes under. Lift the pelvis up to an upstretch position. Align your feet and your hands. Me, <laughs> I was not. Okay. And I'm making myself neater here on the mat. Send the pelvis up. Pushing the floor away. Lower the heels down. Beautiful stretch at the back of the legs. Broad shoulder, a powerful arm here. Really push off the floor. Now step the leg away from me, forward to a lunge position. All right, so you should be mirroring me. Now we find our balance and we take our arms up to the side. Now I want you to go rather low. Then lift the front heel, hold, back knee, down, and up, back knee, down, and up, down, two more, done. I have to look forward because I need to balance. One, and up, front heel down, rotate to me. For your side lunge, just readjust yourself. Now, stay low, bend through the other knee, glide, crack in my hip, bend, glide, bend, glide. So ideally the pelvis should be traveling in that horizontal plane, then glide. And so working the inner thighs power. And glide. One more that way. Hold. Forward fold here at the hip joint. And bring the left hand down. Rotate the spine up to the sky. And come back to that forward fold. Lift the arm up. Lift the body up. Glide. Forward fold. Arm up to the side, and then right arm down, rotate to the sky. Reach up to the sky a little bit more. And then go forward fold, arm up, body up, center, glide. Just go to forward fold again, twist, keep the spine long, lengthen the tailbone and sitting bone out in opposite direction. And forward fold, come up, last one. We're almost there. And hand, arm down, twist. And forward fold, come up. Now we're going to rotate to our lunge position because we need to do it on the other side. So arm up to the side, front heel up, down with the knee. 
up, <sighs> balance. I'm just telling myself to balance here. <laughs> Tell yourself to balance too, please. And three, and hold strong in that center. Four, and one more. Five, okay, heel down, hands down, and step back, up stretch. Oh, big sigh, big breath up. Lower the heels. And we walk our feet towards our hand to finish the class. Okay, once we have our feet underneath the pelvis, deep fall through the hip joint. And you can grab the ankle, the back of the ankle, and pull yourself a little closer to the legs. Allow the neck to go longer. Let's regulate our breath. One more. And release the hand, palms down, softening through the knees. And roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Find yourself in a beautiful standing position. Growing tall through the spine. Now I'm, I'm thinking, you know, just pressing my feet down to the mat. At the same time, I am lengthening my head of my neck, my neck of my shoulder and the spinal column away from each other. Picking up my pelvis off my hip joint, pulling up my femur and my thigh bone away from my kneecap and pulling up my shin bones, tibia, fibula and away from my ankle bone and lifting my arch up and then let's bring our hands in the front of the chest and thank you we did it that was quite a challenging one but um hey it's advanced class so thank you for staying for the whole class with me again keep yourself mobile don't sit down just yet hydrate get something delicious to eat maybe and uh, I will see you back on a mat tomorrow for another class. Okay, bye. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow with Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.